Are you guys ready to turn an old ladder into a picture frame hanging on the wall ladder? I guess so, huh? <laughs> this is a lace up, let's go. Say hi, BB. Hi. Say welcome to YouTube. No. No. I don't want to. Oh, that's okay. Say we are going to use this ladder, and we're going to decorate it as a picture frame type hickey hanging machine type thingy. <laughs> so, what I was going to do is put it up here. Um, I did just. As you can see, it's a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut the ends off a little bit. And I just got done staining staining it. Uh, the same color as the wood uh, shelving that I have here. So um, I'm gonna cut it and then of course stain the ends as you see there. And then throw on, an, uh, yeah, sand sand first so I could make it nice and uh, antique-ish like that. Uh, the corners, the edges and stuff like that. And then uh, throw on a coat or two of polyurethane. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for this. Be right back. Okay, so what we are going to do now is, of course, measure. Um, measure between, you know, of course, the rungs here. Um, outside, the, well, inside the inside, I have 11 inches. So a half of 11, of course, is five and a half. Uh, half of five and a half is two and three quarters. So of course I go in two and three quarters and I just want to make just a nice little dimple or X. Uh, 11, 10 and a half. I mean three quarters would be right here. And right here. Okay. Okay. So we have our mark right there. And I'll mark right there. So I am going to use this twine. No. Um, it's very thin. Um, I don't believe in gauges and, and twine, but uh, it's a smaller, you know, string. So, and I got my trusty drill. And BB, can you hold it? Can you hold the ladder? Yeah. Okay, hold it, make sure it doesn't go nowhere. Here, no, lift it up. Lift it up and okay, get hold it right there. Okay, and then we're gonna pre-draw our holes right in the center. Straight down. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And then the other one is you need a cleaner picker upper? Ow. Right there. Please don't move. Please don't move. Gotta hold it. Gotta hold it. No, yeah. Please don't use it. Okay, clean the hole. Then you make sure it went the whole way through. Yep. Daddy, yeah, I hold it. We gotta clean the other side. Now I already put the holes in. Um, I just wanted to show you how you would naturally put holes in and get this prepped and ready. So I am going to clean off you know, the bursting holes on the other side, uh, sand that down, 
and probably uh, put a little bit more Daddy. stain to it and polyurethane it. Daddy. And I'll be back in a couple hours. Bye-bye. Oh, B. You went up for me. I didn't push you. No. Oh, I love you, B. Okay, I sanded uh, some edges, as you can see, to give it that uh, wear look. Yeah, sort of like the antique or old wear look. Uh, I didn't go too heavy on it, just a little bit on the runs, rungs, and on the side here. And then the inside and outside, I didn't do this side because you're not going to see it. It's going to be on the wall, but, yep. I'm going to go ahead and polyurethane uh, it. See you here in a bit. Okay, since this is ready, uh, what I'm doing now is going back over my holes. Since the polyurethane poly closed it up a little bit. So what I am doing is pushing it in. And kind of wiggle it out a little bit. To open up the holes. And wiggle it around like that. And pull it out. Just take a nice cloth or paper towel. Have one right here. Probably get it wet. Get the dust off here. Give me one second. Now that we have the holes. Hello, B. Hello. We did the holes, so we just yeah. Yeah. rinse and wipe off the excess. Yeah. Okay. How's that look, B? Nice? You touch it. You touch it. Okay. What's next? So, like I said, I have the, the twine. Got a candle burning here. So what I did was, we're going to have to force that through the hole, put a little wax on there, and, uh, no, B. I can't see. So a little wax on there, so I could go through the hole a little bit of good. And I am going to get the tripod and use that. I'll be right back. All right, got the tripod. Now we're ready. Uh, when you have twine like this, um, it's a good idea to loop it through the hole. So when you pull on it, um, it comes out as fast as you pull on it. And there's kind of a restriction there, some tension. Because um, if you do this, you see how easy that comes apart? But if you do this, it only comes off when you want it to. So I highly recommend doing that. Just put it through one hole. All right, so we got our wax on there. And basically we're feeding it through the hole. If you have to turn it, you can see how the twine or string has the grooves in it and it's sort of spiral. You want to turn it with it, not against it, because if you do, it's going to look like that. So go with the twist and boom, there we go. I'm going to pull it down a lot, get a pair of scissors. Yeah. 
and we cut it. Yeah. And I am going to put three and knots. We pinch it. Yep, we pinch it. And we pinch it away. How many knots, B? And we pinch it and we nip it open. Come on, we got to count one, two, two, two three, knots. Four, go. Here, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We wait need a minute. It. We need it. Okay, two knots. Okay. What's after two? Yeah. What's after two? After three. Yeah. Four. Four. No, we're only gonna put three knots in it. Yeah. So I think that's. Pinch it open. One, two. Ooh. <laughs> what? I don't want to pinch open. I mean. Pinch it open. No, you're not gonna cut it. There. Oh. We're just hanging pictures, wow. so well, that's tough cut enough. It no, you're not gonna cut it. And now we're gonna do the next open. one. So basically, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, I'll let you see open the finished finished project open and what to do. Next. Hush. And show you what to do next. Okay, stay tuned. Go to. And just to show you, if you bring that in the middle, that uh, you can control it a little bit better. And I'll show you. See? And as you work with it, if I, see? So if you didn't do that, that would roll all over the place and you have to roll it back. So definitely recommend it. Just go through the other side. But we are done. This is what it looks like. Okay, and I think I'm going to leave uh, the tops on. It adds a little flair to it, you know what I mean? So, all right, from here, um, if you have a normal pitcher, get a pitcher, uh, probably a, what is it, three and a half by five or five, uh, five by seven. Let me go see. Okay, we got a normal pitcher, and then we have a smaller pitcher. Um, I guess you could do either or. Uh, mix it up. Um, you got the portrait pitcher like this, or landscape, uh, long ways, wide angle shot pitcher, like that. Um, you could probably put it like that, one like that, and one like that. Uh, you could tear it. This one high and this one low, and whatever you want to do. Uh, just remember when you cut it, it's going to be like that for a while. So probably do a whole bunch of different ones the whole way down so you have a variety um, of drop, uh, I guess, length. Um, unless you just want to keep it the same uniform the whole way down, that depends on you. Um, I am going to tilt this, tilt this a little bit on the wall so it's not completely straight. So I got to take that into consideration because uh, it's going to curve off to your right or left, whatever the angle is. So um, that you do have to take in consideration if you're going to hang this straight. But I don't know until I do. Which, stay right there. Almost forgot. Probably going to ask how we're we going to put this onto the wall. Of course, we have our and 
I'm probably going to put two. One probably a foot in from the end and come in this way a foot in from the end and apply it just like so on the back side uh, which is it's the other side because of the markings I put on the other side the wear so I'm probably going to put like one right here and the other one the same on the other side so I have to go get my hammer and do that and I'll be right back All right, so we have our measuring tape and uh, I measured over 12 inches. I have grabbed one of these things and since this is the top, angle it down that way so it can catch the screw. We'll put that right in the middle, about right there. Um, just like I said before when we did the, uh, the blocks, uh, flame, uh, yeah, flame framing that all you want to do is go in a little bit and drop one of these nails in there. And hammer. Wipe off. There you go. And now we're going to do the same on this side. So be right back. All right, next, like I said, you're gonna find, have to find your, how far you wanna go down, which one you, you plan on using. Um, so for this first one, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, of course, if you wanna get a pencil and draw the middle line on where this is, go right ahead. Um, but you can eye it up, it's not going to be that bad of a, difference um, so it would be like right there so right in the back here I am going to take a pair of scissors and snip okay now there's magnets um, you can pick these up at uh, Michaels um, Lowe's might have it Walmart might have it uh, or you can get these online as well. I have gold um, because you know I want it to have uh, a nice look to it. So these are pretty strong, pretty pretty strong. See, <sighs> um, you can get just regular magnets or silver or whatever color uh, you want, or paint them whatever you want. So what I am going to do is take one. If I can pull it apart and some super glue, if I can find it. And I love this stuff. It's the gel stuff, Loctite, super gel. The gel is just more manageable, I think. All right. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. If I have any more. There we go. If it frays, that's okay. Just make sure you don't glue your finger to it. I can feel my finger sticking. Oh, 
what I'm going to do is um, you can also use what is that uh, um, the rubber I forgot what that what it's called um, where you put the rubber insert in in the back and you squeeze it and you get a little goop um, something gun uh, damn anyway you can use that too if you don't have super glue but sometimes I find with that especially on slick surfaces smooth surfaces uh, the glue doesn't hold very well um, the type that the, the glue gun doesn't hold very well so that's why I use super glue gel so seeing that I stuck it on there I'm not gonna press on it but I'm gonna let it dry and then just to show you how it would work take one of these and Voila. Of course, you gotta find the middle. I touched it. There. And of course, we would do that the whole way down. Um, like I said, we could do. You could probably do two. Two little ones too, one up here and one right here. Uh, you will see the string just super glue one right here and then one right here, which I might do. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, if you have these, if you want it the, the long way, um, wide screen way or wide, you know, uh, picture way, you can put one right there and this one right there. Um, so. It's up to you, your preference, but I am going to find some old pictures to put up here so I can at least show a finished project and show me what you think. Um, so hit that uh, subscribe button and like, share the video. And if you want to leave any comments, uh, go right ahead on how things maybe you would do uh, would I have done this or certain things that maybe tricks of the trade you learned um, that I can, you know, learn from too, that you can teach uh, and share with uh, the world. So, of course, uh, like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon here in a bit. Thanks.